Yeah, almost didn't hit start on the record. Okay, hey everyone, welcome to another Grim Dawn skill overview video guide. And today we are looking at Curse of Frailty, an early level occultist skill, and possibly the best general debuff in the game. So the text, a cruel word of power that robs enemies of their fortitude, making them slow and fragile. Curse of Frailty is a, you cast it over an area, and the enemy takes reduced movement speed, physical resistance, and bleed resistance. Pretty basic off the bat. It's used sort of as a crowd control to stop the enemies from moving towards you, and it reduces their physical resistance, making it easier for you to directly attack them with your weapon attacks and with things like, I don't know, cadence and force wave and, and the like. It has one modifier, and that's vulnerability. Empowers the curse's vile potency so that it also weakens the constitution of your enemies, making them more susceptible to witchcraft and poisons. So this reduces their defensive ability, poison acid res, vitality res, and elemental res. Between the two abilities, you have this really great, really solid debuff for pretty much all builds. If you're building physical, with like a witch blade, curse frailty can help you out. Building poison acid, curse frailty works for it. Building vitality damage, curse frailty works for it. Elemental damage, curse frailty works for it. So in class synergies, obviously are like the you know, Soleil's Witchfire, and Sigil of Consumption, and Dreeg's Evil Eye, which are all, you know, poison acid and vitality based. As is, I think Bloody Pox has vitality damage in here, yeah, and bleeding damage, and poison damage on the entire line. Um, other classes, pretty much anything that says it deals physical, bleeding, poison acid, vitality, or elemental damage will get a benefit out of vulnerability. So you can cross this over with a Warlock if you're doing like Panetti's, weaken the whole thing. Their defensive abilities reduce, so you'll just deal more damage in general. You'll deal more damage with your missiles because it's elemental damage, and then the enemy will be slower to approach you because of the movement speed reduction on the curse itself. I mean, with the Night Blade, you can use it with Phantasmal Blades and it works fine. You could use it with like an Amarasta's build at range and it works totally fine. You can use it with, like I mentioned before, a Witchblade and whatever physical damage thing you're dealing with there. Uh, a Trickster would love this. Wait, is it Trickster? No, excuse me. A Conjurer would love this because you're reducing the vitality damage on targets. So things like Wendigo Totem will deal more damage, but also like a Briar Thorn will deal more damage with this too. Oh yeah, of course the Summon Hellhound will deal more damage because it deals fire damage, as will the Summon Familiar. So your summons, pretty much all of them will be benefited by vul by Curse of Frailty and Vulnerability. I mean, just this is really just a catch-all ability. Pretty much any combination works with it. And any ability works with it, too. Except Chaos Abilities. But that's fine, because pretty much everything else in the game is going to work with it. Or Aether Abilities, but whatever. I mean, even Albrecht's Aether Ray benefits from this, because Albrecht's Aether Ray deals fire damage. And thus, Vulnerability makes it deal more damage. But also, it helps you know, keep things away from you so you can beam them down. I wouldn't say there's a specific, like, set of items for it. I know I have, like, these pants, plus two to vulnerability. I know I have stuff around here that affects it. Yeah, I know there, there are things that have bonuses to it, direct bonuses to it, but there's no, like, curse of frailty set. So, yeah, just search for plus skill things and you'll get it. Now, Devotion, you can apply um, certain Devotions to it, and we'd have to actually see Curse of Frailty, you can get your Flame Torrent on. Uh, Guardian's Gaze, you can attach Curse of Frailty to it. Eldritch Fire, Curse of Frailty. Since Curse of Frailty actually hits a really wide area too, that's actually not a bad thing to maybe go for, is something like this, where it will... You Curse of Frailty to the whole group, and an Eldritch Fire applies... So Eldritch Fire will also reduce fire and chaos resistance on top of all the reductions it has before. Um, when it goes Mark, of course, Curse of Frailty. Um, that doesn't... Curse of Frailty on your Tainted Eruption. Lots of things can you pick up Curse of Frailty. In fact, I think... Yeah, I have that on there. Um, yeah, you can use all sorts of things with Curse of Frailty. And it will work really, really well. Um, in fact, it's probably a great procker. And I should really test that out. I haven't, though. Because this, this build doesn't actually use it by default. 
But yeah, Curse of Fidelity, I definitely recommend it. It's a great all-rounder ability. And I don't think there's much more to say about it. It's a pretty simple thing to talk about. Because it just does what it does. You, you cast it over the area, everything loses its resistances, and it's just easier to kill. And, you know, you slow them down, too. So it's kind of a survivability thing. So, that's going to cover Curse of Frailty. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.